M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we had some people contact me uh, trying to use WinSCP to get into Linux of, on their Zygu X6100 and then it's not showing up on their IP scan. So let me just give you a couple of tips. First thing is get your device right near your broadband router. So this is my router here. So look, you couldn't really get any closer than this. So obviously the Wi-Fi here. So let's just turn it on. A couple of things you want to do. So go, well, it is already on now. Let's just do that from the beginning. Go settings, system settings. Turn the MFK knob to wireless LAN. Let that fire up. Right, so it shows connected. Now, to turn the Wi-Fi on and off, you see the config button. This makes you go down the list. The edit is on off edit is on off so if I go push edit now it turns it off if I push it again it will turn it on okay and it's set to auto connect so the next thing you do is the default sort of numbers or IP numbers that you get here really the top one needs to be near your the the ones that you're using on your other devices at home. So I would use an IP scanner like uh, Fing. If you ever heard of Fing, and I'll just show you that. So this is the one I use, it's F-I-N-G, Fing. But it doesn't matter, matter if it doesn't show up because you do know the IP address, and I'm gonna show you how. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go down using the config button well, I would probably disconnect first, actually. So hit disconnect here. Okay, we're disconnected. Now using the config button, go down. We only really need to change one. Now remember, you, you've got to put a password in. So get your password in for your router. Then go down. So now at this point you want to be looking at the IP addresses you're already using in your home for different devices and for us ham operators it will be for our hotspot. So let's have a quick look at the number that we're using for our hotspot. So here's my jumbo hotspot and let's have a look at the IP address. 192.168.0.104 so what we want to do is set something around that. Now I've set 192.168.0.28. Uh, and that's, that's all we need to do really. Um, so once you've set that, then go back and hit connect. So now you know what your IP address is. You don't really have to be told. I haven't changed any of the other numbers. Give that a minute. You might, you know, you might have to reboot, you might have to disconnect, reconnect, but eventually it will show green connected there. As you can see, sorry it's not the clearest picture, but you can see it's connected. At this point, you'll be able to connect using WinSCP and we'll do that in the last part of this video. And you can exit now. And look, you've got Wi-Fi and it should reconnect each time. You can see mine is in is, is already in OpenTX mode and that's because I've, I've uh, talked to Linux using WinSCP. So at this point we're going to use WinSCP, which is, from my point of view, just a way of talking to Linux and changing Linux using Windows. Uh, so download that and then open up that program. So if we open up mine, it just to select the app WinSCP. The app opens. Now you can, I've already obviously used this before. So if, if it's a new site, click new. Put in the correct IP address here that you are. Uh, put in the password for the Zygu is lowercase root then 123 123 okay and then I would save that and then you can log in so if I just go if I um, go to the one I've already because it, it saves it in a list here so we'll go to one that I've saved um, let's try this one here so there you are username password IP address that we've just seen I haven't changed the port and then log in straight away it's logged in nice and fast which is good to see so we're into the Linux system we've already got our password in there now if you're 
thinking of unlocking you know your Zygu all you do is double click this file go to etc look for a file called I've got to find it myself now um, ah, there it is there XG radio then XG radio comp double click that and and then see here you've got full band enable disable if if you want it to you know open TX change that word don't touch these change that to disable and then when you've done it so watch this if I just go I'm not going to do it because I like mine open disable see the way that now this little blue section here you can save click save once you've done that and you reboot your um, I'm going to click no there. Once you've done that and you reboot your Zygu, it will now be an open TX radio, which of course you make sure you only TX on bands that are you are allowed to on your band allocation. And that's it. And then I to log out, I just close the window um, and click OK. So and that's it. So hopefully um, that will let you know how easy it is to use WinSCP and get into your Zygu X6100 and other items that you might want to uh, modify the Linux. 7.3, all the best. Please like and subscribe my channel.